welcome back to What Are Teen Nibs with General Disturbance. This is an AMX 13105AM Mini 50. It's a tier 5 French SPG. It's located on the northeast spawn of Live Oaks and it's under the command of Bill the Cop from the Thin Clan. And Bill the Cop is a policeman, yes! In fact, I'd say from those sergeant stripes on the side of his vehicle, he may be a police sergeant. But he's also got two other stripes on his barrel, which are more important than their blue. And uh, yes, so he's got two marks of excellence already in this arty. Well, they built 429 of this arty. It's quite a few. And 92 of them went to the Netherlands, so the French sold them to other countries. They were designed in the 1940s. Uh, they were built in the 1950s and they saw service from 1965 until 1984. Now the actual RT has a range of 15 kilometers and they could fire off 10 shells in just three minutes of their 105 millimeter ammunition. But uh, in the game, you've got uh, 445 alpha and penetration of 13 millimeters of armor. So it will go through some thin-sided vehicles and it's got a burst radius of 1.91 meters. Well, two meters. About, about the same as the 105 FH-18B2. First target's the T-28E F-30, which is a premium tank. Premium medium on the Soviet line. Now it's got a nasty 85 millimeter gun. And so is that Su-85, the tank destroyer. Rounds out. Oh, good hit! Right in the side of the SU-85. You can see it actually hit the crew compartment. And that guy's down. Bill's trying to aim for the Strib M42. Wait until he comes up to shoot. That's it. Just missed him. Okay, this is a much easier target to hit. Now, the Hetzer has very thin armor indeed. Especially on the sides. I've seen one. Oh, kill shot! Direct hit. Looks like the Hetz had taken some damage before Bill fired, but it was a perfect shot right into the side of the vehicle. And he's now trying to nail that strip. Lands short that one. Okay, T28E with the F30. That's the one with the 85mm. Didn't actually get Bill, but they were considering fitting the 85mm gun to it. And he hits him in the side and tracks him for 147. He's still trying to get the strip. We lost sight of the T28. Uh, just in front of him. And the strip goes down to RM44. And the T28 explodes to our Hetzer. Okay, now we're now looking inside the town. You can see there's an easy 8 inside the town. We're looking at him right now. It's a very difficult shot because he's quite a long way away. And the building's in the way. It lands just behind him. Very, very close to that one. Okay, we can't see the rest of the enemy because uh, they haven't come out of the town yet. We do have a defense in force though, and we're two tanks up on the enemy at the moment. So I'm afraid he's uh, Bill's looking to the south because, or to the west, I should say, because he's looking for the enemy arty. Presumably the enemy artery in grid square G1, but they're not always necessarily over there. And of course our guys are actually on the south side and they found the Fifi and he's probably found them. Lining up a shot. Rounds out. Oh, that one landed well short of the rescue. I can't believe that one landed way outside the rescue actually. He's now trying to fire another one in. Well, that went exactly where the enemy was. I'm not sure if he actually got any damage on that one though. And we've lost sight of the Fifi, but he does have good view range, 390 meters, which means he can probably see our tanks and they can't see him, but they don't. They have to see him now. Oh, what a shot there! Took him out. And they found the other RT, the M44. He knows he's in that bush. He's letting it dial in. Ready, shouts out. Perfect shot! Blind kill on the M44. He knew he was there, but it was a perfect shot. Now we're down to just one tank in the south, the Easy 8 
and he's just got taken out by the enemy T-40. And we're looking at the SU-76M, who's trying to poke up over the ridge line, which is not a good move. And he's gone. So that's three shots, three kills. Okay, he's up. There's another one, Striv M42. And he's been killed, taken out by the Panzer Sebs Fahlefetter Einc. And there's that easy eight that we saw earlier. He's come to the edge of the town, but he's backing off because I think he knows that we've got some tanks defending. And that was a direct hit, and the shell that went in before also hit him. And I think that was from the T-34. Oh, I saw some damage being done to the building just to the right, and the fence being knocked down. So I think the Easy 8 pulled back. But it doesn't mean he's gone away. I think he's probably just redeploying himself. Okay, Bill's decided to rejoin his colleagues up near the cap area. I think the reason for doing this is we don't know where the M10, RBFM and the T40 are. And they could be coming up the railway line. And so he's decided it's probably safer to actually be nearer the cap than be the first one that the enemy sees. And we've now lost the T-34 who's guarding that house. So it's now three versus three. We've lost our advantage. And Bill's looking for those enemy tanks. And here comes that easy eight. He's lining up a shot. Our oh, Panzer Sebs file appear to INC is probably not going to be able to take this guy down. Not when he's got the 76mm gun. Well, Bill gets a direct hit in the front of the Easy 8, but we lose the the Panzer Sebs Father Fetter INC, the tank destroyer. Now we're facing an M10 RBFM, a very OP tank destroyer, and there's a T40 coming in as well from the south. He was right about not being south. Lining up a shot. Right in his face! But we lose the M44. I'm not sure Bill's going to get another shot. Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately, that T40 was only annoyed by that shot. And he promptly took Bill out in this game. But at least he got a counter battery out of it. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Here's the end of battle results for Bill the Cop in the AMX 13 105 AM Mini 50. He managed to get a third class tanker, even though it was a defeat. He got a Reaper badge because he took out consecutive enemies with consecutive shots. He also got a Fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He managed to get four exactly. And he also got a Counter Battery because he took out both enemy RT, the 105 FH-18B2 and the M44. He also got a Bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in this one. He managed to get six, and his win eight from that one was 2,904, which is actually quite a respectable score. Uh, and this is a very good RT to get good scores in because it's got a fast fire rate, a decent um, damage rate as well, and it's also quite fast if you want to move about. But unfortunately, on this occasion, his team fell apart, and Bill decided to stick with the uh, cap area. Uh, rather than go down the railway line. If he had gone down the railway line, it's more than likely he would have met the M40, or the M40, the T40 coming back up. But uh, as it was, yes, he couldn't hold on forever, not against three enemy tanks closing in on him. So I'm afraid this one was a defeat, but let's have a look at the team score and see how well he did. Well, the high score in this game was the M10 RBFM on the enemy team. Yes, it's a very overpowered tank destroyer. A high caliber and a confederate for the M10 with 2,267 hit points of damage. It's that 76 millimeter gun. It's just so effective and it's slightly different stats to the American M10, funnily enough. And uh, even though it's basically the same vehicle, just in French clothing. The next high scorer was the Easy 8, the M4A3E8 with 1,578 hit points. Followed by the M44 on Bill's team, who managed to get uh, 1,373. And, uh, well, when it came to Bill the Cop, he managed to get 1,114 hit points of damage. But when it came to kills, he was uh, second, with the T40 getting five kills. Four kills went to Bill the Cop, and three kills went to the Easy 8. And when it came to base XP, he's a little further down the table, because the enemy team did better. 
The M10 managed to get uh, 999 base, 800 went to the EC8, and then it's 698 went to the T40, the last three tanks that were alive on the battlefield. And you can see Bill the Cop came second on his team after the Striv M42. He managed to get 320 base. He fired 16 rounds in this game, got seven direct hits and one penetration. I'm pretty sure that penetrating shot was on the head, so we'll just check that to see. Was it a penetration? No, funnily enough, it wasn't. So he must have just overwhelmed the target when he killed it. Now, was it the M44 instead that he got the pen on? Yes, it was. So it was the M44. It's got thinner armor than the Hetzer, would you believe it? And the Hetzer, I've actually seen in reality. It's very thin armor on the sides of the vehicle. It's basically a coffin for four players, you might say, uh, or four people. It's, it's so thin, the armor on the sides on the front but terrible on the sides anyway getting back to the detail nine splash damage on the enemy as well 1114 hit points of which 939 were at more than 300 meters so he did get some damage obviously on that t40 when he was closing in three hits received all three were penetrations yeah i'm afraid the armor on the mx 13 105 am is not very thin in it, on very thick it's it's very thin indeed and in fact uh, it's very lightweight because of course it's based on the amx 13 ton tank so it doesn't really have that tank doesn't have any armor to start with but the rt well it has to compensate for the uh, uh, the fact that it's carrying a heavyweight howitzer by having very thin armor on the uh, cover around the actual artillery piece so uh, yes that's um it's it's only strong enough to actually fend off bullets it's not strong enough to fend off a shell he t damaged eight of the enemy killed four and on a free to play account he earned 13,146 credits and after repair and ammunition resupply took away 8,231 credits he got 320 base xp and there was no multiplier so that's all the experience points he took away but he did get a counter battery out of it which i think he was very happy about uh, took out the enemy arty and very nicely too in fact that was a great shot on the uh, fifi because it was a it was a long distance round uh, but he still managed to hit the target after a couple of shots uh, went astray earlier on. I hope you enjoyed that battle. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.